Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing Lesson 11.1 .1 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 11.1 .1 is about angles and fractional parts of a circle. So we're going to have a circle today, and we're going to talk about the angles that we see in the circle. So up here in this first picture, you can see that they've drawn all the numbers onto the circle to make it look like a clock. So we can say every time that it moves over to the next number, that is one twelfth of a move. Um, if we're starting here at the 12 and we're moving the line over to the one, that's going in order like like on a clock if you're telling time, and that's called clockwise. We can also make a 1 12th degree line starting at the 12 and moving the other way, which would mean we would end up pointing at the 11. So that's going backwards, and that would be counterclockwise because it is the opposite of the way that you would go if you were telling time on a clock. So every move to every number is one twelfth of a turn. A full turn completely around a clock is 360 degrees. Now here it says you can relate fractions and angles to the hands of a clock. Let the hands of the clock represent the rays of an angle. Each five minute mark, or each time it moves to a new number, is representing a one half degree turn clockwise. And like I said, you can do that counterclockwise as well. So our job in lesson 11.1 .1 is to say how far it's turned and whether it has turned clockwise or counterclockwise. So these first pictures here, we're going to see clocks, and they're going to break it up kind of like we did back when we first started learning about fractions. So they've done this first one. They've filled it in, moving clockwise, and that would be one-fourth of a turn that it moved because if we were to cut this clock into four equal pieces, this part right here is filling up one-fourth of it. So one-fourth is equal to a 15-minute time elapse. So the minute hand made a one-fourth degree turn. Or, like I was saying over here, each number that you move to counts as one-twelfth. So you can say one-twelfth, two-twelfths, three-twelfths for this. So three-twelfths or one-fourth. If we were to do 12 divided by 3, it would give us 1 fourth. So it fits in four times. Okay, same thing over here. We're still moving in a clockwise direction. This time, though, we're splitting the clock in half. So it's made a 1 half degree turn clockwise. Or if we were going to count in 12s, it would be 1 twelfth, 2 twelfth, 3 twelfth, 4 twelfths, 5 twelfths, six twelfths. So six twelfths or one half. If we were to reduce the six twelfths, you know that would turn into one half. Okay, next clock picture, still going clockwise. And this time it has covered, the blue part that they've turned has covered one, two, three fourths of the clock. Or, if we were to count by twelfths, it went all the way over to the number nine, so that would be nine twelfths. Nine twelfths reduced is three fourths. Finally, the last one shows us a complete turn around the clock clockwise, which one is how you say that, one full turn. Or, if you were to count the twelfths, it would be twelve twelfths. So our job in this lesson is going to be to say how many, um, what the turn is, how many fourths, or you can say it in twelfths, 
and if it's going clockwise or counterclockwise. So on your problems, they'll say something like, the directions will usually say, tell whether the angle on the circle shows a one-fourth, a one-half, or three-fourths, or a full turn, and if it is clockwise or counterclockwise. So this was a lesson, lesson 11.1. If you're in my class, you should have been filling out page 418 with us as we went through this lesson. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.